morning, West Coast. Good afternoon, East Coast. Hello to everybody in between and outside. It's Ian, the Off Kilter Crafter, and I hope you're having a great Sunday. Thank you guys for joining me once again on Sunday. I don't know why I always I always adjust myself. Like I, you would think I would adjust myself in the chair before I got started, but it's always at that very moment. Andrea is here. Hey, Andrea Joom, good to have you here. Math Geek, Jackie. Catherine, thank you guys so much for being channel members. Greatly appreciate your support. And of course, we have Angela, Joan, Mitzi, Joy T, Angela, Don Stewart. Uh, let's see, Ar Arlie? I think that's Arlie. Uh, Donna Bogart, uh, Dr. Kathy, Sewing with Luane, Lindsay, Flicky Cheekies here, Karen, Sharon. Karen and Sharon, wow. Um, uh, Paula, Doreen, guys, thank you so much for being here. Greatly appreciate your support and hanging out with me on another Sunday. Uh, I'm just gonna get into it. We've got a lot. We've got a lot to talk about. I know if you're here to watch Gravity Sewing, uh, we will get to that. I do promise we will get to that. But I've got a lot to talk about today, and I'm sorry that it's gonna take a hot minute for me to get there. But we've got a lot to talk about. So let's get started talking about what we've got. First of all, you have been wanting it. I have finally obliged and got it put together. Y'all have been wanting a giveaway for uh, guessing where I'm going to be moving. So I've done that. If you type exclamation, where's Ian in the chat, that will pull up a link to take you to a Google form, but don't click it yet because listen to everything that I'm saying. You will get the chance to enter for a $25 gift card from Threaded Lines. Now here's the thing. I have given you some clues and I'm gonna give you another clue today as to where I'm moving. But you only get one guess. You only get one guess. One guess to figure out where I'm moving. And if you guess incorrectly, your name will not be entered into that drawing, right? So if you guess correctly, if you guess the correct state that I'm gonna be moving to, you will be entered into the drawing. But if you guess incorrectly, you will not be entered into that drawing. And I'm gonna keep giving clues all the way through the end of uh, the, the end of it. So the more you wait, the longer you wait, the more clues you have to get it right, right? But you only get one guess, so you can enter now, but you might also wanna wait as more clues happen, right? Speaking of which, today's clue that I'm giving out is, and these are all listed on that Google form. So each time I add a new one, I'm gonna put that new clue into it. So the clue for today, going over all the clues so far, I'm gonna be moving somewhere that doesn't have a Dutch Brothers coffee nearby. My new location has gotten as little as 0.4 inches of snow or as much as 73 inches of snow in a winter season. I can drive a vehicle to where I'm moving and I will have access, the new one for today, is I will have access to a large Renaissance festival. All right, there's your clues. Those are your clues. This is gonna run through, when did I say it was gonna close? I think I said it's gonna close like June 1st, I think. Let me look at my dates. June 1st, so you have until June 1st to enter for this giveaway, again, Threadlines has been kind enough to donate a $25 gift card for the winner. I hope that all makes sense, right? It's gonna be a random draw of the correct guesses. I hope that all makes sense. Does that, does that, does that help everybody? Did I make sense with that? If, I, if you have any questions, drop them into the chat or if you're watching this on the replay, Put them in the, into the comments below and I'll do my best uh, to, get, to get an answer to you. So, there you go. Today's clue, I will have access to a large Renaissance festival where I'm moving. I will have access to a large Renaissance festival where I'm moving. Okay. Uh, I, so, Catherine, I do like Renaissance fairs. I have been to, I'm actually a little sad because there's obviously one here in Texas, the Texas Renaissance Festival, which apparently is like the largest Renaissance Festival ever. So, yep. So that is, that is today's clue. You can enter, if you wanna to enter today, you can enter today. But remember, the longer you wait, the more clues you get. But you have to enter before June 1st. All right, so that's that. 
Uh, and you can get that form again if you type exclamation point, where's Ian? Uh, next up, next weekend, don't forget I'm going to be live over on Becca's channel. We're going to go live at her normal time of uh, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, 8 p.m. Eastern. We're going to go live on her channel. We're going to be working on the Continuum Quilt Kit. The last I checked, let me see how many kits they have left. Uh, Threaded Lines has... Refresh. Oh, they have eight. They've sold another one. So if you would like to get the quilt kit, eight kits are left available. And if you order today, you probably will get it before we start sewing it on Friday. So if you type exclamation kit, K-I-T, into the chat, you will be able to um, get the link to head over to Threaded Lines and use the code sew off kilter, S-E-W, off kilter, uh, that will get you a $5 off just that kit. So if you order the kit, use so off kilter and get $5 off. See, everybody's talking in the chat about it. Um, you can also get the free pattern if you type exclamation point pattern into the chat. That'll take you to the free pattern that's out there. Threaded Lines has an addendum that they're selling on their website for a dollar. So if you want, like, they felt like the instructions were good, but they, they wanted to add a little bit more to it to make it a little easier. So you can get the free pattern, exclamation point pattern in the chat, um, or you can buy the dollar pattern from Threaded Lines. So if there's any questions on that, please let me know. Hey, so be it quilts, Fallon is here. She's uh, hanging out with her kids and stuff today, so Fallon is gonna hang out for a moment, but uh, there you go. All right, so, um, so then also remember that there's a Zoom. So Friday night, that's coming Friday night, live on Becca's. Saturday, there's a Zoom if you're working on the Continuum quilt, uh, no matter if it's your own stash or the kit. Uh, make sure to go sign up. You have to sign up for the Zoom over on Silbecca's uh, Facebook group. There's a link in that Facebook group for you to sign up. You have to sign up in order to get an invite and there's a limited number of seats. So make sure that you um, fill that out and, and get uh, hopefully invited to do that. And then Sunday we'll be finishing it up here on my channel. We'll have Tiffany, Becca and myself and we'll be hopefully finishing up that, uh, finishing that up. So. Um, all right, so also I wanted to bring your attention to the schedule. Quick programming note, I've moved my live stream uh, from Sunday, April 28th to Saturday the 27th. I'm actually going to go to um, Scarborough Fair. My friends wanted to go to Scarborough Fair, and since I'm leaving the state, they wanted to uh, they wanted to hang out with me and I definitely want to get as much time in with my friends as possible. So I'm moving my live stream from, uh, Sunday to Saturday. It'll be 1 PM central standard time on Saturday. I do have the DFW meetup right before that. So I'm going to literally be going to the DFW meetup and then leaving from there, coming here and doing the live stream. So it's going to be a lot going on. Um, let's see. All right, everybody's putting in all sorts of, okay, perfect. All right, so that's a programming note for the 27th and no live stream on the 28th, it's moved to the 27th. All right, super exciting today because I get to announce, I've been working with Soviet Quilts, Matthew and Fallon have been helping me work on a product that I'm super excited about. And I can now talk about it because it is live in their store. If you do exclamation point postcard in the chat, I've created a postcard ruler that you can check out over on their, uh, in their uh, store. It is a five by seven ruler that you can use to make postcards with. If you're interested in it, use exclamation point postcard to head over to their store and purchase it. It is currently $17.99 in their store and starting on this coming Saturday, so uh, a little less than a week from today, it'll go up to $19.99. So if you wanna purchase it at $17.99, head over to Sew at Quilts and pick up your postcard template, ruler, whatever you wanna call it. I said it, I, I, you'll see a video tomorrow and I kept calling it a template, template, ruler, whatever, same thing. But it is so exciting to have this 
finally, and I finally get to tell everybody about it. I finally get to talk about it. It's been a long process behind the scenes trying to make this happen, but I'm so excited for this. So, Debs said, I got the ruler and I'm looking forward to using it. I can't wait for people to use it. I cannot wait to uh, start using this. So it's gonna be so much fun. Hi Becca, so good to see you. Teresa's asking, what is Scarborough Fair? The Scarborough Fair is a Renaissance festival in Waxahachie, Texas. So I'm super excited to go hang out there. I haven't been to Scarborough in a while, so. All right, so head, uh, you know, uh, head down into, head over to Soviet Quilts. I don't know what I'm thinking. Head over to Sylbiet Quilts and uh, check out the ruler if you would like to get one. It is, I'm so excited about this, guys. I'm so excited to finally have, oh, hey, I'm doing fireworks because I'm so excited. I'm so excited about having this uh, ruler now and it's, it's made making postcards for me a little bit easier because you can see exactly like where you're cutting and like how that frames out your postcard. So uh, there will be a video tomorrow that comes out about it. You can check it out. Over on the Soviets. Um... Oh, excellent. I'm so glad that you found Becca through me. That's awesome. Found Ian through you. Oh no, the other way around. I found, I'm glad you found me through Becca. <laughs> Whoops. Um, oh, and speaking of which, today we are gonna do a giveaway. Becca has sponsored a giveaway here on my channel. She's She actually has, um, purchased one of these rulers and we're going to do a giveaway with it. So stay tuned. We'll get the g giveaway going once I start sewing on the gravity, uh, on the gravity pieces today. So there we go. Somebody will win a postcard ruler today as well. All right. Somebody yesterday, if you didn't check it out yesterday, I did an unboxing of my Juki, which I freaking love. I, I did get a chance to really sew on it yesterday just kind of unboxed it, did a couple of test um, rows on it, and uh, I'm so excited. It's sitting off screen right now. Um, but somebody was asking for a quick unboxing of the AccuQuilt Go, so I'm gonna do, or the, excuse me, the AccuQuilt Me. It's now called the AccuQuilt Me. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, unbox this really quick because somebody asked for it yesterday, and if, you were, if you're here, I'm so sorry that I didn't remember who it was. I apologize, uh, but you can definitely check it out. Um, so we're going to just do a quick little, is that okay if we do a little unboxing? I figure no one's going to complain, but I just want to make sure, you know, hopefully everybody's cool with it. We're going to do a quick little unboxing of it, um, and see what's all included with it. Ooh, there we go. All right. So inside the box, Hey Karen, good to see you. Hi Kathy. Good to see you as well. Kathy, are you excited to hang out in, not this coming weekend, but the weekend after? Shelly says, listening while I unpack from a two week road trip, I waved as I drove through Texas. Shelly, I waved back at you. I, I, <laughs> I hope you had fun in Texas. All right, so the first thing is, uh, did you get the sewing table figured out? I just, so I didn't actually, um, I did not because I feel like it, because it was sitting in the center of my table, my table kind of bows, it's a folding table, six foot table. So um, I didn't get it figured out, but when I set it up, why did my iPad just turn off? Hold on, I have the comments set up on my iPad and for some reason my iPad just turned off. That was weird. Um, I normally have it over here, but it's it's charging. So I, anyways, uh, so anyways, no, I didn't figure out the table. I feel like if I, when I set the machine over here, it will fit better and it'll be just fine. So anyways, all right, first thing in this, um, there are two dies, it looks like. We've got a die that makes this block. And then we've got a die that makes this block, I think. I think that's what that is. Or maybe it's, yeah, I think that's what this is. Oh, it's got labels on it. That would probably be helpful. Oh, I see. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding, everyone. Those are actually patterns, but these are half squares and quarter squares. I apologize. I should have looked at the top. It has half squares and quarter squares up there at the top. So that's what these dies are. Those um, patterns were just, Happen to be patterns. <laughs> so, hey Mike, good to see you. Um, we have a cutting mat. So there's a cutting mat included in this one. There's a pattern book and idea. So it looks like um, 
just some ideas and patterns that you can make with the uh, AccuQuilt Go. And then here is the actual AccuQuilt Go. I didn't realize that it came in a little bag. I didn't know that it had a little, little travel bag. Look at that, that's pretty cute. All right, so there we go. Look at that. Look how cute that is. I love this. Great for portable and easy to transport. Oh, look at that. Sweet. There it is. There's our little AccuQuilt Me. Folds up nicely. I'm definitely, I'm very happy that it has the um, quarter square triangles and the half square triangles. That's gonna make my job a lot easier when I'm needing to cut those out. So very excited and they just, you know, you just put them through like that and they go and do the things. No, they don't buzz. I, I, I have to turn the thing and make it work. I almost started to push it through and then I realized it would have like cut through the top, so. Um, do, 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 did my, I think my comments stopped. Weird. Hold on, everyone. Uh, Tammy says, hi, Ian. I know that you've won the Baby Lock Allegro and that's what I sew on and I love mine, but I have to say, I will be, I, I will be buying me a Juki. If you were to keep, uh, if I were you, I would keep everything you won. Uh, if I had enough space, I would do that. Hold on. I'm gonna step off screen for a moment because my chat just stopped moving. It just completely, yep, it just completely died. So, there we go. How thick are the dies, asks Karen. Karen, um, I'm not sure. Let me grab my, I'm gonna bring my iPad over to the table because it is acting kind of funny all the way across the room. I don't know why it's doing that. It's being, it's being silly. Um, the dies are not that thick. Okay, there we go. <sighs> All right, so um, they're about, a, they're a little more than half an inch thick. About a half an inch, a little more than a half, a, half, a, a little, half an inch thick. So, hope that answers that question. I am catching up on the chat because I didn't have it for a second. So Deb says it needs the mat on top. Okay, good. I'm glad that I, I'm glad it, <laughs> uh, did it come with the mat? Yes, it did. It did, Diane. Uh, it, it did come with the mat, so I have the mat. Um, let's see. Becca says it comes with those uh, patterns. It comes with those, uh, those are patterns. So that way you can make those with the dies that you have. Yep. Uh, you know, Karen, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure if you could use them in your big shot. I feel like, I mean, I had a die cutter in the past when I was a paper crafter and I almost, I almost feel like I probably could have used my, uh, I, in fact, I have, I have one over there. I'll have to try that. I have, I still have a die cutter over there. Maybe I'll have to give that a try. Um, all right, let's see here. I have an AccuQuilt cut grand mark for about 15 plus years. I love it, but I wanted something portable. May check out a different size. It's very portable. It's light. I really like them. Um, hey, I said they don't buzz at the same time. That's funny, Michelle. Uh, Katie says, love the little cute star that you have hanging on the side pole. Well, Katie, uh, you should know about that because you gave it to me. <laughs> Katie gave me a uh, this little star ornament that's made out of um, seal fur. Um, I never felt seal fur before, and that's it's very cool. Um, let's see, uh, Shell Sher Shelly, I think it's Shelly Pickett's Pickett says Ian Rebecca, who produces your favorite block of the month? Uh, for me, it is the Puzzle Mystery Quilt. That is my favorite block of the month ever. I have so much fun with those. All right. 
Have I answered all the questions? If I've missed your question, please feel free to post it back uh, in the chat. I definitely, uh, there's a lot going on. A lot going on there. Um, how about, hey Zaza, good to see you. Um, greetings from sunny Northwestern Oregon, says Anna. Glad you're here. I miss Oregon. I can't wait to make it back out to Oregon. When I'm gonna go back out to the Sisters Outdoor Quilt Show one, one of these days. Tabitha says, Tabitha says, you have to be careful because all the systems are based on extremely precise thicknesses and com um, compressions to do the cutting with the blades built into the die. So that's why I'm like, I thought about going to grab my other die cutter, but then I was like, ooh, I probably should like experiment first. So, all right. <gasps> Is that a clue? I don't know. Uh, Linda says, have you mentioned where your move is to yet? No, Linda, but you can guess if you want to. You can type exclamation point, uh, where's Ian into the chat and you can head over to the official form to enter for a $25 gift card. But remember that only the people who select the right state will be the ones entered into that drawing. So just keep that in mind. All right, so in fact, let's talk, let's um, do the drawing, shall we? Let's get, not that drawing. Let's do, <laughs> I'm all over the place today, guys, I'm sorry. So, um, like I said, Becca has sponsored a giveaway today. She's sponsoring the postcard uh, ruler from So Be It Quilts. I'm gonna go ahead and open up that giveaway uh, so that way you can enter. Uh, all right. All right, we started the giveaway. It'll have an hour. Type exclamation point. Uh, oh, A, A, huh, that's funny. Uh, type exclamation point post, uh, excuse me, exclamation point raffle into the chat. There we go. Exclamation point raffle, and it will give you a ticket. Exclamation point raffle. All right, so let's go ahead and get set up. Uh, if you're saying anything in chat, it's gonna fly by here in a second, so I'm not gonna be able to see it. Donna says, Ian, are you familiar with Rose City Quilts? He uses the Agomi. I am familiar with him. I met him at QuiltCon this year, um, which was awesome, because I've been watching his videos for a little bit, and he actually inspired me to, he did his own quilt, uh, quilt labels and I kind of stole his idea um, and used uh, and created a very similar idea to put on mine. Um, Ian, if we're intending to win, can we just offer to pay the shipping costs? I, I think so, Katie, yeah. If you're international, can we just pay shipping costs? Yeah, yeah, we can, make, we can make that happen. I'll make that happen. All right, so I'm gonna be working on block four. Uh, Linda is asking how many times can we enter the movement form? I think she's meaning the move, like guessing where I'm gonna move. Linda, you can enter one time. You have one chance, one time to enter. So the longer you wait, the more clues you get. But if you think you know it right now, you can enter now. So, um, all right, so I'm gonna be working on gravity. This is month four. I'm gonna be working on putting all this together. I'm gonna set these off to the side. <sighs> I love this quilt kit. I wanna get this quilt kit done before I move. That is, that is what I'm hoping. I'm gonna try and like speed up the process of working on this, so. Uh, Greenland Quilter Katie asks, what form? Uh, Katie, if you want to enter the giveaway for where am I moving, use exclamation point, where's Ian, and that will get you the Google form that you can enter into uh, if I'm gonna be, if I'm gonna be where I'm gonna be moving to. So, but remember, you only get one chance, one chance. Deborah, I gave I gave it away a little bit earlier, but the clue is where I'm moving to. There's a new clue for today. The new clue is I'm gonna be moving somewhere where I have access to a large Renaissance festival. Katie, it's uh, no apostrophe and all one word. 
right, so we're gonna be working on this one first. I love, somebody said that they love the colors. And it's, this one's a, we haven't done a green month yet, so. What are you working on today, Ian? I'm with Mr. Finish Up Star Quilt. Um, I am working on, this is the Gravity Quilt Kit that I was sent by Threaded Lines. And I'm working on month four. Linda says, y'all do all kinds of fun things on your lives. I try to, I try to do as much fun stuff as I can. Thank you, Tiff Maverick for subscribing. Thank you so much for subscribing. Good to see you, Mitzi. All right, so I need to lay these out. This is, um, what fabric is this? This is F. All right, so we're gonna go here, we're gonna go here, and we're gonna go here. And then here. And I'm trying to make sure that I lay these out. Thank you so much, Andrea. Andrea has become a member. Thank you. I thought you were already a member. Were you not? Where is, is it where Tula Pink lives? I have given the clue for today. I have already given a clue today, a brand new clue today. So, no more clues for, no more new clues today. Dragonflies for Donna said, did I miss anything good? I unpacked the AccuQuilt Go. Uh, I did the, oh, okay, got it. Uh, I did un unbox the AccuQuilt Go. I uh, talked about my new postcard ruler from Soviet Quilts. If you want that, just type exclamation point, exclamation point postcard. And if you want to enter the raffle for one, Becca has sponsored a raffle to give away one of the postcard rulers. Use uh, exclamation point raffle. Lisa says, Ian, did you know US is home to some 200 Renaissance festivals uh, with one in nearly every state? Maybe that's why I gave that clue. <laughs> uh, Linda says, so will it be out of Texas? I don't know. Will it be out of Texas? I am loving this so much. I absolutely am loving it. All right, so here's what I got. Oh, you can see it pretty clearly in the camera. That looks pretty good, right? I think that looks good. I like that layout a lot. So I think we are going, oh, I haven't even turned on my sewing machine today. <laughs> I plugged it in, but I forgot to turn it on. And that doesn't do me much good. By the way, I'm gonna be taking my um, sewing machine in to get service tomorrow. It is time for its yearly spa day, so it's gonna go in, get serviced, and hopefully we'll be back next weekend. But I think I'm gonna use my Juki for the uh, continuum uh, sew along. So you may be seeing you, pardon me, you may be seeing me use my Juki for that. There's the Bernina burp. And oops, let's get out of that. There we go. All right, so I need to, what do I need to do? Okay, so a diamond and two triangles together as shown. All right, so I'm gonna start off by sewing these together. Do, 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 do. Oops. All right. Again, thank you to Threaded Lines. They sent me this quilt kit um, to unbox. You can actually go watch an unboxing of this quilt kit. And if you would like to sew a Gravity quilt kit, they're gonna be doing Stonehenge next year. So starting in 2025, there will be, I, I think it is another sew along if I remember correctly, but they are currently selling kits. If you would like to uh, so if you would like to do the gravity quilt kit, they're gonna do it in the Stonehenge colorway. So it's gonna be, a, I think it's gonna be really neat. It's gonna be pretty cool. 
Ian, what number do you use for piecing? Uh, Mitzi, if you're asking um, my stitch length, I think you're probably asking about like what my stitch length is. I use a 2.5 stitch, right? Yeah, 2.5. I had to look for a second. Wish I knew how close you were to Mexico. I love traveling there. Uh, could have a vacation so or not, but I'm back to work soon. Oh, Chris, uh, Christine. Christine. Yeah, that would be a lot of fun, wouldn't it? I am in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, though. A little, little bit away. A little bit away. Tracy, using my Juki 2010 Q right now on a month eight Cotton Cuts Puzzle Mystery Quilt. Awesome. Don't forget the reveal is this month too. I will be taking part in the uh, reveal for Carnival. And Luane, Luane, where did you see the new theming? Because I saw your post, but I did not see where that came from. So I believe Cotton Cuts has Secretly, not secretly so much, but they have revealed where are the next theme of the puzzle mystery quilt. So, Wayne, let me know about that. Oh, asking the number of my Bernina. My Bernina is the B770 Quilters Edition. So it's the Tula Pink. Tula Pink Edition. Wow, that like really didn't line up very well. Oh, let's see here. Uh, did you visit a New England state while you were over on the East Coast when you visited Virginia? Uh, I did. I did visit a New England state. Um, I think did I? I did several. I did Salem, Massachusetts. I did, um, oh, I did the thumbs up. <laughs> I did Rhode Island. I also uh, visited Rhode Island as well. I don't know why that's not matching up very well. I don't think it'll matter. It'll be fine. Katie says the next theme for the Cotton Cuts Puzzle Mystery Quilt will be Western. Where did you, where did you see that? It's posted on the Cotton Cuts website. I only see Tree of Life posted. I'm gonna go there right now. I wanna Cotton Cuts. Puzzle Mystery Quilt. I still see Tree of Life. I'm literally looking at it and it's Tree of Life. So I don't see it. Um, Math Geeks uh, says your Juki should handle all those vertical pieces and continue them beautifully. I can't wait. I can't wait for that. Uh, Tracy says I got month nine this week, so I'll be I'll be month with this week. So will month ten have the setting? Uh, this is my first puzzle mystery quilt. Tracy, uh, month 10 will tell you how to put all of your pieces together. So yes, you will get uh, the instructions for how to put it all together. Uh, Angela says, of your Bernina and Juki, what machine do you like better so far? There's, they're like apples and oranges. I like my Bernina because I can do, um, you know, zigzag stitches and decorative stitches and all that kind of stuff. My um, Juki I love because you can go fast <laughs> on it. Um, there's just a whole bunch of different reasons why I like, like, there's, I like them for different reasons, if that makes sense. Hey, Candace. Hello, Joni. Which way is this supposed to go? All right, I'm going to put that up there. I'm going to flip this around. And we're supposed to put them like this. So that way it's easier to see how these fit together. There we go. Kim said, oh, I see. It was um, on a live stream. That's, that's why 
I haven't heard it because I was like, it's not on the Cotton Cuts website. So I was very confused. It's on the sign up. See, I don't, it's not, I don't see it on the sign up now page. Katie says some of the fabrics would have, she said that some of the fabrics would have cowboys and other things in it. Oh, how fun. <laughs> Linda says you are now on the ground level sewing with Tiff Tiffany and Becca, so you may win the challenge. I don't know. Maybe we'll see. Um, let's see. Uh, Lauren asks, where did you visit in Rhode Island? Uh, I was in Providence. I was in Providence, Rhode Island. I was there for about a week, a little less than a week. Uh, Greenland Quilter, Katie says, uh, Ian, if you come for the, um, oops, I'm getting all confused. Hold on, everyone. Let me make sure I'm doing this right before I have to, like, undo everything. Yeah, this is right. Okay, cool. Uh, Katie says, Ian, if you know you come to this up upcoming Thursday Zoom, I bet Kim will give more information about it. She usually does. I just might do that, actually. Um, I My guild meeting isn't this week, so I just might pop into these uh, Zoom session this week and see if she will divulge some of the secrets. This feels awkward. I don't know if I'm doing this one right. Sean announced it on his live. Yeah, see, it's off again, like a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna rip that one because I don't like how that one landed. Candace says that she has already started cutting the continuum pattern this morning. Awesome. Kara says, hello, hello, good to see you. Jackie says, the Florals of America has an early sign up for May. There we go. Do, 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 do. Angela says, Western seems to have, seems to be a heavy theme for fabric coming out this year. That's very interesting that you um, have noticed that. I have not been paying attention, to be honest. Hello, Kara, good to see you. Lisa says, this is from the Cotton Cuts page. Signups for Tree of Life are now closed. Join us for the next puzzle mystery quilt adventure, Wild West. Signups open on May 31st, the day after my birthday. And the first clues will start shipping July 26th. Excellent. I'm very interested to see what colorways they're going to be uh, bringing together for that. All right, seam ripper, seam ripper, you're my best friend. No kidding. <laughs> no, no kidding. Seam ripper is my best friend sometimes. This feels better. I like this a lot better. I feel like this is gonna be a much better, a 
It feels like that's gonna lay a lot better. Yes, okay, got that. Much, 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 much better. All right. I was getting worried for a second. I'm like, oh, I'm not doing it right. I know what I was doing wrong. I was, these um, corners are um, not clipped. And so I was just not doing it in the right place. Just not doing it in the right place is what it, what it was. So now we sew across the bottom, put these together and sew across the bottom. Whoops. Uh, thank you WDE for subscribing. I have a feeling that this is going to be a little wonky. And I'm not exactly sure why. What's in your case? Um, are you talking about this one, Teresa? Teresa asks, what's in my case? This is my uh, Aliso, no, Ulfa, excuse me, Ulfa. This is my travel case, so I have my um, I have, hi Mike, thank you so much for joining the membership and becoming a supporter of my channel. I greatly appreciate your support. Um, I have my old rotary cutter. I used to use the uh, Tula Pink rotary cutter until I started using the Martelli cutter. I have my scissors. I have, uh, I have another seam ripper in here. I have my little snips, which actually these normally sit next to my machine. I have a stiletto. I have a purple thang. It's not just a purple thing. Purple thing. Um, just a whole bunch. I got tweezers, stuff like that. Um, I actually won this case at uh, QuiltCon in, I think that was 2020. I think 2020 I won, I won that one. So um, yeah, pretty awesome. All right, so. All right, so now I'm gonna try and line these up. And I'm having a little bit of trouble, to be honest, because one of the triangles came out a little differently than the other one. So we're gonna try it here and we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and sew them together. And if I don't like it, I will seam rip it and try it again, but I think we're gonna be okay. It's gonna be off a little bit, but I don't think it's gonna be like off by a lot. So I'm just gonna run, run this through, see what happens, and if I need to seam rip, I will seam rip. Try it. Do, do, do. Did I receive my Tula Pink irons? Not yet. Um, there has been a delay, unfortunately, with them. So um, I haven't received them quite yet. It is off slightly. What do you think about this, guys? Look. Do you see how it's just off just a tiny bit? Do you think I should keep that or would you rip that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all tell me in the comments what you think. So if Wayne says, if QuiltCon is back in Raleigh in 2026, like I heard, I'm either flying or taking Amtrak and booking a room early. Yeah, I'm very excited for it to be back in Raleigh. Um, I did enjoy my time in Raleigh and I'm, I'm just kind of surprised that it's back there so quick. All right, guys, tell me if I should rip that or if you think it's fine. It's so close. I think like with quilting, you could probably, you would be okay. K 
Catherine says to keep it. Uh, Katrina says to keep it. Sonya with Lane says keep it. Everyone's saying keep it, so I'm I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. It's just gonna be what it's gonna be. I only see a few people saying to rip it, so I think I'm gonna keep it. And maybe the quilting can can uh, you know help manage that a little bit. So there we go, there's one triangle. See, you can't even tell this far back. You can't tell. It will be held, hidden in the quilting, absolutely. So, uh, and Teresa says, if you're gonna put it in a contest to rip it, so I might enter that, but it's a kit. So it's not going to like, I can't enter it into a lot of contests and, and shows because it is a kit and some shows just don't accept kits. So I think I'm gonna leave it and we're gonna move on. Samantha says, hello, Ian and Chatters, hello. I like Donna's galloping horse says, keep it. I like that, Donna. Shelby says, I usually keep it if it is off a little bit and I've already tried three times to line it up. By the way, guys, don't forget you can enter. Becca is sponsoring a postcard ruler giveaway. So if you want to enter just exclamation point raffle in the chat. And by the way, if you're watching this on the replay, that it's already close. <laughs> it's already happened. All right, so let's do this again. Boop, boop, and boop. This goes here. This goes here. This goes, oops, put it the right way. There we go. I'm looking for the like, I don't know how to describe it, but you can kind of see the pinwheel that kind of gets formed by those darker colors. <laughs> Katie says, if someone is that close to your quilt and not a judge, shove them further back and tell them to look again. <laughs> oh, that's funny, that's funny. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started sewing this again. Did Tiffany pop in? Oh, there she is. Hey, Tiffany. Tiffany says zero. I'm not sure why she says zero, but she says zero. Hey, Donna. Handmade with Donna. <laughs> Handmade by Ying with Donna is here. I always get that backwards, Donna. I always say, I always want to be like, Handmade by Donna with Ying. I don't know why. It's just what happens. <laughs> Tiffany said, sorry, didn't mean to reveal myself. Napping. She I think I have the feeling she accidentally hit the, um, she accidentally hit the button on her phone and put in the zero. Don't think she meant to do that. She was never here. We never saw her. <laughs> Me too, Ian, says Donna. That's funny. Handmade by Donna with Ying. Nope, nope. Scratch that. Reverse it. Oh, and I was thinking about a name for my Juki. 
because uh, everyone's like, you need to name it, you need to name it. I think, I think I'm gonna name my Juki Big Tex. Because if you're from Texas, you know about Big Tex. And I feel like the name for the Juki should be Big Tex. What do y'all think about that? You think that's a good name? I kind of like it. I think it would be a fun name. No, I want this to go out. There we go. There we go. So I think my Juki's gonna be Big Tex. What do you think about that name? At least you didn't snore, Tiffany, right, Donna? That's funny. Also, I forgot to talk about, um, I got to see the eclipse. I was so worried that I was not gonna be able to see the eclipse because of the cloud cover. Um, I did take a chance and I drove to my friend's house in Arlington. They let me um, see it from their house. And uh, all morning, all morning long, I was like pacing their house because I was so worried we were gonna get clouded out. Um, the sun kept getting covered up by clouds and I just, I just kept pacing their house and they're like, dude, it's just an eclipse. And I'm like, no, no, I don't think you understand. Like, it's a big deal. And um, it's a great name because you won a ribbon at the Texas State Fair. I see that, I agree. Name it Rose and get a big yellow rose. Oh, that's a fun idea too. So if Lane says, howdy folks. Deb, but you're leaving Texas, aren't you? Uh, so, I mean, yes, but, how did this go together? Like this. Um, yes, but it could be like my last little, my last little kind of um, mem remembrance of Texas, if you will. Um, let's see, that's a perfect name, sounds good. Love it. Yes, uh, Math Geek Shelby is asking for the discount code for Continuum. Uh, it is so off kilter, S E W off kilter, S E W off kilter. That'll save $5 off the Continuum kit. Um, so, anyways, uh, it was a big deal. Um, but I got to see it from my friend's house, and I'm so glad that I went to my friend's house because it gave me an extra. Um, it gave me an extra minute and th uh, minute and change in totality, uh, and I think if I had stayed here at my apartment, it would have been cloudy. Um, so I lucked out. I think I ser because the clouds parted literally two three minutes before totality. There was a cloud that went over it, and I'm like, ooh, and then two minutes till. It, it was uncovered and oh, it was just, it was so beautiful. It was so, so beautiful. And I'm so glad I got to see it. I wish, you know, if there's ever a time that I wish I could go back in time and relive a moment, um, getting the chance to watch a solar eclipse, I've seen three of them now. I would absolutely go into those moments of totality and like pause time if I could. It's just, it's just, there's something about it. I don't know how to describe it. I don't know how to tell you. There's just something about it that is amazing. And it's just so cool. It was just joshing you, right? You were living in Texas when you won it, so I like it, says Lisa. Name it Vortex. Shift happens. Man, that's a good name. Yeah, I'm so glad I got to see it too. It was just amazing. It really was so amazing to see. And it's made me like get really, I mean, granted this is my third one. So like I'm addicted to seeing total solar eclipses. They're just amazing. 
Ian, do you know the story of Big Tech's origins? Yes, I do actually. Big Tech started off as a gigantic, uh, as a gigantic Santa Claus in a small town here in Texas, and um, the state fair bought it several years later and started using it. They were like, oh, we can turn it into a cowboy. And so they started using it as a cowboy um, for the State Fair of Texas. So it's, it's an inter it has a unique history for sure. Oops. And then it burned up in 2012. Caught fire in 2012 and then they rebuilt it. And if you ever go back and look at the early versions of Santa and Big Tex, it is creepy. It is creepy, creepy, creepy. Don says, I like that Big Tex has a personal meaning for you. Absolutely. Oh, oh, guys, look at this. Look at this. It is so awesome. Um, I like that Big Tex has a personal meaning for you. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's, I think that's kind of why. Look at that point. Oh, look at it. It's so nice. I love it. Yeah. All right. Uh, Jean asks, what year did you see your first one? The first one I saw was not in 1998. I was in South America, Venezuela, um, to see it. And it was, it, that's what started my passion for, uh, solar eclipses. Uh, Tracy says, my points are perfect, so Lindor Truffle Treat, it's the small wins. Absolutely, it is the small wins. 100%. Don't know who you think that you're confusing. Like, oh. Um, he was modeled after one of those, uh, after one of the tire and muffler stores. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that part. Lynn says, hello Ian, saw it in Buffalo near where I live and I was speechless when, I, when it got blackout. Isn't it a crazy feeling? It just, I, 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 don't, I don't know. I don't know how to, how to explain it. It just gets, Totality is just amazing, and there's something about it. I am actually, so there's going to be a um, solar eclipse that goes through Greenland, Iceland, and Spain, and I am half tempted because Reykjavik Airport, the Reykjavik Airport is actually in the path of totality. I am half tempted to buy a flight to literally land in the morning at Reykjavik Airport watch the eclipse from the airport and then get right back on a plane and fly back. Like that's how serious I am. So where will the next one be? Next one is uh, Iceland, uh, Greenland and uh, Spain. And then in 2020, so that's 2026, 2027? Is it 2027? I think 2028 is in Australia. There's one in 2027, but I can't remember where that one's gonna be. Katrina says, there's a YouTube using dental floss to have perfect points. It's interesting, but I haven't tried it yet. Oh, that is interesting. I'll have to check that out. I have not heard of that. Dental floss, huh? Okay. Mitzi says, I, Ian, I have the Tula Pink Bernina 770. It has a quilt program. I uh, use the Patchwork Stitch 1326 uh, designed for piecing. It was discussed, I was discussing this with the Siberian Wind. Oh, that's interesting. Wait, 1326? 1326. Oh. Look at that. Oh, okay. 
new things that I learn about my machine every day. <laughs> Deborah says, do it. I just might. Or maybe I'll go stay with uh, Katie over in Greenland and see it with her. Perfect time to visit Iceland and go to the spa. The volcanoes would be a bonus. Yeah, that's true. Uh, my three were in 1979, Eastern Washington, 2017, Eastern Oregon, and 2004 in Arkansas. So Venezuela, 1998, uh, 2017 in Nashville, Tennessee, and then uh, 2024 here in Dallas-Fort Worth. Gene says, my first one was in 1973, and then I saw a partial in 2017. And of course, in the year 2024, I got to see this one with my husband. He's never seen one, same age as I am. It was kind of odd. It is a very interesting experience. <laughs> Katie says, our doors are open and, and anyone else that wants to visit. Awesome. <laughs> Do tell. I'll be in Reykjavik in July. It's in August, I believe, Dr. Kathy. I believe the eclipse is in August of 2026. If I remember correctly. But yeah, I'm very tempted, like, I, I, I'm addicted to total solar eclipses. Part of it is it has a lot of personal meaning because the first eclipse that I ever saw was with my dad. So there's a lot of personal meaning behind, you know, seeing eclipses. Um, and like, yeah. So I kind of, I want to see as many as I possibly can. The unfortunate thing about the one uh, in 2026 is it is only going to be like a minute and f I think 40 seconds of totality. Like it is so fast. This one flew by. The three minutes that I got, three minutes and change, just flew by. I, I can't even imagine what a minute of totality is like. It's like literally flying five, six hours for a minute and change. I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Egypt. Thank you. 2027 in Egypt. That's where it was. Thank you, Marie. Uh, six minutes and 23 seconds. Yes, that I will. Oh, I want to do that so badly. Six minutes and 23 seconds. Oof. So if Wayne says, I have seen more eclipses than Haley. Com well, yeah, because Haley Comet is only here once every uh, 86 years, I think it is. All right, that's the block. Did I do it right? It feels weird having these triangles like on top of each other, but that's that's the block. Yep, that's the block. So there we go. There is the green colorway done. Let's move on to the um, purple one. And I'm gonna iron this, I think, open. Come on, seam. Open, open, open. There we go. It did not want to open. But yeah. Ugh, I'm so addicted to eclipse chasing. They, um, I found out the term for someone who chases eclipse is umbrophile. So that is, that is somebody who chases... Eclipse, because the umbra is the shadow of the moon on the earth. So I feel like I can officially call myself an umbraphile now for seeing three eclipses. 98 years. Thank you, uh, Lynn. Thank you. Dr. Kathy says my ADHD allows multiple sessions at once. There we go. So there's our first one. Look at that. It's beautiful. I love it. All right. Let's do that again with the purple colorway, shall we? I, uh, I called my son Hallie's Comet. He, he's lost in his own space. Oh, my.
pardon me. Diane says, I'm using my Janome 1600 and it's a straight stitch only. <coughs> pardon me. Uh, so, so fun creation says, this is my first, this was my first, this was my first time. It, you get addicted to it. I'm not kidding you. You're going to get addicted. You're going to be like, oh, I need to see another one. Luane says, maybe if I make it to uh, 2061, I will see Hallie's. I, there's going to be one in 2020, no, 2045, 2045 that goes right over Disney World. Guess where I'm going to be? Guess where I'm going to be? <laughs> will absolutely be. It's going to be one of the most expensive Disney World trips ever, but it, I'm going to make it happen. Uh, excuse me, Lynn says, how are you liking your new machine? It looks wonderful. So this is my old machine. This is still uh, my Bernina. Um, my Juki has not been, uh, you'll see me sewing with it probably next weekend, but uh, I haven't had a chance to really do a whole lot on the Juki yet. Karen says, sorry I'm late. I was at a baseball game. Did I miss an announcement, Ian? No, you did not, other than the postcard ruler that you can purchase by uh, typing exclamation point postcard into the chat. So be it quilts has paired up with me and we are doing a fun, by the way, I uh, do get a commission off of sales for those. So just FYI, uh, I do get a commission off of sales. So it's a great way to support me on my channel and also helping so be it quilts. So we're going to do it again. Dana says, I have to leave to meet a friend for a walk, so I'll miss out on the raffle drawing. All right. Remember that you do have to be here. You must be present to win. So if we pull your name, just, just be here in another, let's see, how much time do we have? Let me look at how much time we have left. Where is it? There it is. Okay, I was like worried. We got 13 minutes left in the raffle. 13 minutes left in the raffle. Uh, Shelby says, I, fin I finally finished my coffee and I'm gonna go work on showering stars today. Awesome. Beth currently has my Showering Stars quilt and we've talked about the quilting for it. It's gonna look so awesome. I'm so excited for that. So exciting. Uh, Joni says, totality will move right over my house in Colorado. I only have to wait 21 years, right? I know. I may go to Colorado if I don't end up at Disney, I might go to Colorado instead. Melody says, sorry I'm late. Hello, Ian and everyone. You are never late. No one is ever late on my channel. It's not a thing. Karen says, thanks for letting me know on the postcard ruler. I'll go there after the live. Awesome, sounds great. Which way am I supposed to press this? I don't think it really matters. Uh, Chai's Crafty Adventures, is that right? C-H-A, Chia's? Maybe it's Chia's. Chia's Crafty's Adventure, thanks for subscribing to my channel. I bet you it's Chia's. ch ch, -ch chias Sorry, <laughs> I'm so sorry. My brain went, wee! Uh, 
That's what happens. Dr. Kathy Smith says, I finished a baby quilt for my daughter's boyfriend's niece yesterday. She needs to, uh, for my boyfriend's niece's yesterday, she needs to decide what to put on the label now. I'm really happy with the quilting. That's awesome. Love that. Love that. Whale soup? Oh my. Oh my. Uh, Jacqueline says, how does the raffle work? Jacqueline, if you type exclamation point raffle into the chat right now, you'll be entered to win uh, one of the brand new postcard rulers from So Be It Quilts. Just type in exclamation point raffle and hang around for another less than 13 minutes and I'll pull the winner. You must be present to win with any raffle. Got to be present to win, at least here on, um, here on YouTube. No, Ian, not, and not that ear worm. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. My bad. That doesn't feel right. Why does that not feel right? Oh, because I'm doing it the wrong way. That's why. That's better. Uh, there's one of the corners is clipped, so it helps me line it up a little more easily. Um, and you saw me kind of like, hey, that that's that doesn't feel right to go that direction because it wasn't it wasn't right. But now that I put it in the right spot, it's good. It's good to go. Linda says, I will be 82 in the next eclip total eclipse here in Kansas City. I hope I will still be around. Gotta, gonna make it my goal. Absolutely, Linda. You should absolutely make it a goal. And yes, I, I'm, I realized the one in 2045, I will be 59 years old. So there you go. but I still want to go to Disney. <laughs> still want to go to Disney. Like it's going to be so expensive. They are going to make it, it's going to be a huge event and everyone is going to like be there, but it, it's, it's going to be so expensive. So expensive. But it'll be worth it. Daniel, D Danielle, Danielle Becker. I have a Bernina 740 and a Juki TL15. I still prefer to piece on my Juki versus the Bernina. I uh, I love both for di for different reasons. So I'm gonna probably go back and forth between the two. To be honest, some days I'll feel like sewing on the Juki. Some days I'll feel like sewing on the Bernina. You know, it's just gonna be one of those things. Just gonna be one of those things. Sorry if Wayne says, who says you have to be in Disney? I'd like to be. How cool would it be to watch the eclipse from the Magic Kingdom? Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. Um, Chia says, hi, Ian. I've been watching for a little while. I see you got an away quilt. Isn't it great? An away, or oh, an Accu quilt? Oh yeah, yeah. Got the Accu quilt. I love that I got the Accu quilt. I cannot wait to start using it, to be honest. I'm done with Disney. I still love Universal Studios. Uh, they keep adding rides. Kathy, I am so excited for, um, 
for uh, the new island. No, not Islands of Adventure. They already have that one. Um, Kath Dr. Kathy, help me. <laughs> what is the new one called? Epic Universe. Cannot wait for Epic Universe. Oh, my friend and I, we want to take a Disney trip next year. And we've already talked about, like, we've got to go to Epic Universe. Terry says, Disneyland or Florida? I like both. I honestly love both. Uh, CA Disneyland Adult Admission is $175, not including California Adventure. That is too expensive for me. It is very expensive. It is extremely expensive. That is no lie. No lie. But I still want to do it. <laughs> My bestie lives in Orlando, says Dr. Kathy, so I'm set for the eclipse. There you go. Dr. Kathy says, haven't done that one yet. Well, it's not open yet, so <laughs> there's a reason why you haven't done it yet, because it hasn't opened up quite yet. It'll be coming, uh, I think they said spring or summer of 2025, so you still got you still got about a year before it opens. But I, I definitely am super excited for uh, Mario Land, whatever they're calling that one, Super Mario Land or whatever. Um, it's got How to Train Your Dragon. It's got the new Harry Potter stuff. It's amazing. Went to Disneyland in 2023, and my mom thought $20 for a hot dog and drink was expensive then. Yeah, it is expensive. It is very expensive. My grandfather was a construction worker on Disneyland, says Terry. That's awesome. This one's just a tiny bit off, but I'm going to leave it because I'm okay with it. I am. I am good with it. I guess I messed up some of the cutting on this a little bit because there's some like weird wonky edges on a few of the places, but there we go. There's, look how pretty that looks. I love that. That's fun. Whoops. Stay. And we got one more to go. My last visit to Disneyland was when Toontown was still there. Toontown is still there. They still have Toontown. Shy. Oh, got it. Okay. Sorry. Got it. Shy. Disney World. Yeah. It'll cost as much as your firstborn child. You are not wrong. You are not wrong on that at all. You would think I would have this down, but I don't. Uh, Katie says, my father was also who helped build Disney World as a construction worker. We got to see Disney first before the general public opening. How cool, Katie. Hagrid's motorcycle ride is fantastic, isn't it, though? Isn't it fantastic? I love it. It's so much fun. I also love Escape from Green Gods. Love that. Love that ride. All right, let's see where we are on the raffle. Uh, you have another two minutes and 45 seconds. If you want to end the raffle and haven't done so already, make sure to type exclamation point raffle into the chat. My first job, says Karen, was at Disneyland. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, Shelly says it cost me $35 for a ticket book when I went to Disneyland in 1969. It's almost $300 in 2024, so it's 150, $175 is a bargain. Sky says it's okay, no one pronounces it right. My boss knows how and she insists on saying cha sound. Got it. Zaza has been to Disney World three times and they love it. 
How many times have you been to Disney? Uh, so I went to Disney World once, and I've been to Disneyland twice, so I've been three times. Uh, Joni says, Ian, could you see when you finished the first section of your block, there was a radioactive symbol with the three triangles? Once you sewed the other uh, two sections together, it's beautiful. Love the block. Yeah, I did notice that. That's why I kept looking at it, because it keeps, it, like, it, I keep looking at it, and I'm like, wait, it, it, the radioactive symbol is what makes me stop each time. Our friend worked in at Universal, and she works with the J.K. Rowling designs on the land. Oh, that's cool. Green gets makes me laugh the whole, Dr. Kathy, I just love it when it's like, and it, you like fall and then, whew, yeah. If you've been on the ride, you know what I'm saying. Uh, one minute left, one minute left for the raffle. By the way, there's 122 tickets in. I would love to go to Disney World. I got to go to Disneyland in Paris last year. Math Geek, that is on my list. Uh, Shelby, that is on my list of places to go. Catherine says that symbol puts me off. I'm sorry. Terry says we used to go two or three times a year. So spoiled. And if you're wondering why I'm just sitting here waiting, I'm waiting for the timer to go out. We've got 30 seconds. So I'm just, I don't want to get started on this. I want to wait until after I pull the winner from the raffle. Melissa has never been to Disney World. All right, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, so the raffle has finished. Phyllis is asking, can you explain what the postcard ruler does? Absolutely. So. If you like to make quilted postcard tops, or quilted postcards in general, if you like to make postcards, my ruler helps you visualize what that postcard is going to look like uh, before you trim it out. So you can kind of work on placing it exactly where you want uh, and get the framing that you want. There's a center dot to let you know where the very center of the postcard is gonna be. There are diagonal lines to help you kind of line things up. And then you have a border that goes around the edges and that's for um, the satin stitch. It kind of helps remind you, hey, there's gonna be a satin stitch that goes in this area. Kind of helps make sure that you're framing it out so that way you're not covering up any elements in your, um, in your postcard. So there will be a video that comes out tomorrow if you are interested in learning more. I kind of demo it and show it off in that video. So. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video on that. Uh, I knew someone who worked at Universal, so they would call up Disney to see if they could go to the park at, to do a park ticket swap. So got to go to Disneyland at least six times a year when I lived in LA. That's interesting. I didn't know that they do did a, a ticket swap. Uh, I can not possibly count my trips to Disneyland. I had an annual pass when I was a kid and was in high school. Then my husby, husband retired from there and we've been at Disney World four times, but Anna, Anaheim hundreds. That's very cool. I got accepted into the Disney College program, but I did not go because um, they were not gonna pay me enough, uh, unfortunately, so. All right, so let's pick a winner. And this, I'm about 30 seconds ahead of you, so. The winner's already been posted in the chat, but uh, here we go. Click one time. Annette, Annette J, if you are here, please make sure to comment, just say hi, here, whatever. Just let me know that you are here. Let's see if Annette responds. Annette, Annette, where are you? Daniel says, the Ghost Rider at Knott's Berry Farm is probably the best wooden coaster ever made. I really like the hybrid coaster, the Texas Giant. It's pretty awesome. Annette, are you still here? Hopefully Annette hears her name being called. Hi, June.
Annette, Annette, are you here? Are you here? Let me know you're here. Are you sure you don't want to do clickety 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 clickety? No, I do not want to do clickety 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 today. Absolutely not. Did you just hear Siri? <laughs> Siri was like, fine. Okay, fine. Goodness gracious. Didn't want to talk to you either. I don't know where Siri heard its name, but it thought it heard its name. Annette, are you here? When mailing postcards, do they arrive dirty? Um, Phyllis, sometimes I have had like the, they've gotten a little dusty um, and I did have one arrive. It obviously went through the machine backwards. And so the front side of the machine or the front side of the postcard had the machine canceling on the front, but otherwise they're not, I haven't had a problem with them getting too dirty, too dusty. Uh, when not in an envelope or, you know, some kind of case or whatever. Annette, I need you to respond. I need you to respond or I'm going to have to move to the next one. So Annette, I'm going to give you another minute or two. And then if I don't hear from you, we are going to move to the next. So Annette, if you are here, please let me know. Does the post office charge extra for postage for them? Lisa, if you are using a regular uh, forever stamp, just a regular stamp that you would put on an envelope or anything like that, no, they do not charge extra. You cannot use a postcard forever stamp. You have to use a regular forever stamp, but no, they don't charge you any extra. Tracy, I just answered that. Great minds think alike. You and Lisa both thought the same thought. All right, Annette, I'm gonna give you 30 more seconds. Thirty more seconds. Come on, Annette. Come on, Annette. By the way, thank you to Becca for sponsoring this giveaway. She um, is sponsoring the giveaway of this postcard template. Ruler, whatever, <laughs> same difference. Sandra says, hi from Washington State. Got here a little late, no worries. Jean says, I rode the son of a beast. I wouldn't roller coaster at Kings Island and not a whole lot scares me. But when I got to the top of that thing, I was scared. It, uh, they can be very intimidating. All right, Annette, I am about to cancel you out. I hate doing that. It always makes me so sad. Uh, her name is not in the petition. All right, so, and Annette, three, two, one. Oh, I'm sorry, Annette, you didn't respond in time. I'm so sorry that we couldn't give it to you. But that's okay, because we will give somebody else. All righty, here we go. We're gonna pull another winner. Deb Thrill, Thill. Go ahead, if you are here, Deb, let me know in the chat. Brenda says, just finished yard work. I'm glad I caught you. I'm glad you caught me too. I'm glad to see you. Hybrid, co hybrid coasters are probably the ultimate coaster, ultimate in coaster thrills. Love amusement parks. I do too. I love roller coasters so much. 
Linda says, I may not make this beautiful quilt, but I'm very inspired to use Jaybird rulers now. The Jaybird rulers are awesome. I, I kind of love them. Dev Thill says, I won. Oh my God, I thank you so much. You won a postcard ruler. Deb, do me a favor, email me, off kilter crafter email, off kilter crafter ian at gmail.com, off kilter crafter ian at gmail.com. I don't know why your name, like, I see that you responded. I see your name in the, in the chat. So I, I see that you responded, but it's not on my little dashboard. I can see when people respond and her name isn't like, it's not happening, but I saw your comment. So I see your comment saying, oh my God, I won. Thank you so much. So email me off kilter crafter email, off kilter crafter Ian at gmail.com. Goodness gracious. Off kilter email. What the heck? What the heck? So I do see you, you are good. Email me and we'll go from there. Obviously I'm gonna need your physical mailing address. So make sure to include your physical mailing address. Yeah, Deb, Deb, Deb won. Sally says she was removed as a winner. Yeah, our first, our first one never responded. What? what I, I'm confused, guys. Pat Boo says another winner was chosen. Yeah, we we chose, we chose another one. I'm so confused. What's happening? Karen says, gotta go, Congrat congratulations, Deb. Yeah, we had to choose another winner because the first person didn't respond. Hi, Sylvia, good to see you. All right, we are almost done with this block. I think I need to go just a hair that way. Your relaxing way of sewing suits me so well. I'm so glad to hear that, Linda. I like to relax and sew. It's much, much nicer. Although I feel like I would be like super relaxed if I could be like Tiffany and just like pedal to the metal. <laughs> uh, Sandra says, I just laid out my quilt called Nine Sisters by Cozy Quilt. Awesome. Oops, 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 oops. All right, so we're gonna put these together now. Oh, and unfortunately I didn't get the pressing. How depressing, I didn't get the pressing right. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay, it'll be fine. Sandra says, first time on your channel. Welcome, I'm so glad that you're here. Mitzi says, gotta run. Good to see you again. Always good to see you. I have those, I have those jewelers, but I never knew how to use them. And <laughs> right? Tiff is a speed demon on her juki, I know. She is so fast. She sews 
incredibly fast on our Juki. I don't know that I'll ever be up to her speed, literally, but like, I'm excited that I get to I get to have a Juki and, and can sew on it now. I did put stickers on it after the live stream yesterday. I did um, put my own stickers onto my Juki, so it's got tattooed. It's got tattoos. Boom. Olivia says, it was great to catch you live from the first time. Have a wonderful rest of the weekend. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend as well. This one's not perfect, but it will do. Totally not perfect on this one, but that's okay. So there's, there's our second one. Now let's put both of these together. Hey, Patricia, I'm so sorry, but the raffle has ended. We have a winner chosen. So the raffle is now closed. Oops, hey. Phyllis says, a way to speed your sewing with your Juki is to make a jelly roll race quilt. So fun to speed sew. I um, definitely could, could see that. I could definitely see doing a jelly roll race would, would I mean, last time, last time I did a jelly roll race with, with Tiffany, she like blew everybody out of the water. Oh, Linda says, I see Teresa Louise uh, I Quilt 2 has canceled today's live stream because she is hurting so bad. I am so sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. So Teresa Louise apparently is not going to be live today. My, my mind says, Ian, the first time on your channel, I found you through Sobeka and you two crack me up. I'm glad that you are here. I'm glad that you're here. Mine, 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 mine. So after the live stream today, I've got to go, I've got to go run to Home Depot and I'm going to go pick up a um, wardrobe box and two, I have two large framed pictures that I need um, like those uh, safety boxes for. So I'm going to go run to Home Depot and pick those up. Can, uh, can, so mind my mind, is your name Canner? Canner? I hope I'm saying that correctly. They say, I uh, can't wait to start Continuum next week. I cannot wait either. It, I have the fabric, it's literally on the floor over there right now, uh, but I can't wait to start working on it. Cannot wait to start working on it. Rulers, not jewelers. Oh, that makes a whole lot more sense now. Linda says, you better go by car and not run. You may fall. Very funny, ma'am. Very, very funny. I mean, you're not wrong. That's the sad part is you're not wrong. You are not wrong in the least. I hear a noise outside and it's bugging me because it sounds like, I don't know what it sounds like to be honest. All right, there we go. So here is, I have the continuum and I love it. I'm so glad to hear that. All right, so here are our two blocks that we made today. Kind of sucks that on the camera, this, this dark material is hard to see. I should have not put those together, but that's all right. It's fine. There we go. What is the pattern you're working on right now? I am working on the gravity quilt kit. I was sent this quilt kit by 
uh, threaded lines. So it's going to look like this when it's all said and done. And these are the blocks. So we finish month four. On to month five. Uh, Melissa says, I had to put a project in time out. Time to move on to another one before I start prepping continuum. Awesome. I like the tulip pink quilt in the background, but I can't justify buying more fabrics. Thank you. This is, uh, this was the charm not, I call it, I, its official name is uh, Daydreamer, the butterfly effect, but uh, its unofficial name is Charm Not Charm. This is my Charm Not Charm. Uh, especially the darker one. I'm glad. I'm glad that y'all like them. Beautiful. Ian, I told you uh, another winner was chosen because the computer said it was, said it a while before you did. Uh, didn't feel, okay, all right. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? We, okay. Um... Jacqueline asks, do you plan on getting a couch for your new place? I love relaxing on my couch and cannot believe you don't have one. I don't know yet. That is to be determined. Um, what pattern are you using to use the rulers? Jean, are you talking about the gravity quilt? Are you talking about this one? Um, I'm using the uh, Hex and More and the Super Sidekick rulers, um, which I actually really love these rulers. Those, there they are on the back there. I love these rulers. I am having so much fun working with them. So um, it's a lot of fun. Again, if you're interested in doing the Gravity Quilt Kit, there is going to be a 2025 version of this. You can order it through Threaded Lines. They're gonna be doing it again in Stonehenge. So the Stonehenge colorways, um, pardon me, they're gonna use uh, Stonehenge fabric for it. Linda says, love those blocks, and this quilt kit is gorgeous. I love this quilt kit. I really, really. Jenny says, where are you moving to? Where am I moving to? If you'd like to take a guess, you can guess uh, if you type exclamation point, where's Ian, into the chat. You can take a guess. Uh, Danielle says, I have both Jaybird rulers. I love them. I used a Super Sidekick last week and I love it. Melissa, I am right there with you. I have never used these rulers before until this quilt kit and they are so helpful. They're great. Danielle says, fabric is an addiction. Yes, it is. <laughs> I feel that. Uh, Jacqueline says, those are nice rulers and I'm doing Nebula. Yeah, it's, it's so much easier with them. Becca, it was nice of you to donate the ruler. I agree. Thank you, Becca, so much for uh, for doing that. And uh, to my winner, and I, my mind has already lost your name. Uh, Deb, make sure to email me. I haven't received an email from you, I don't think, yet. No, I haven't. Um, so email me your stuff, your, your information. Um, and we'll get that. So there we go. All right. Um, uh, exclamation point. Where's Ian? W H E R E S I A N. All one word. Thank you, Jenny, for typing that in. Kathy, uh, Kathy Quilts and Crafts. Hello. Hello. Good to see you. All right. So there we go. We have finished month four. I'm going to continue working on the Gravity Quilt Kit. Um, as we move forward, I really want to get it done before I move. So hopefully I can get it move. I can get it done before I move. So that way I'm not having to move. I hate, like, I really want to wrap up this project. So I have a finished quilt top and not have to worry about trying to move all the pieces and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Karen says, I say in a Becca's backyard in a tiny home would be perfect. <laughs> That's funny. Donna says, when do I need to have my son move out of the little house? Also, it'll give me time to clean it up. That's funny. Where do you find the Jaybird rulers? You can purchase them from Threaded Lines. Uh, Threaded Lines has them available. Dude, you look good for 59. I'll be 59 uh, in 2045. Linda says, I'm thinking... Uh, 
I think I'm going to find a project for those rule. Yeah, there. I, I really want to design a project using um, the rulers now. Sandra says, how often are you live? I am live on Sundays, most of the time. Sundays from 1 p.m. Central Standard Time until we finish whatever we're doing. So 1 p.m. Central Standard Time on Sundays uh, with the exception of the 27th. Just remember, guys, I'll be live on the 27th, not on the 28th. Programming note there for you. <laughs> you might block the view of the trees. Yes, where can I find the pattern? Uh, this is the Gravity Quilt Kit. You can also purchase, I think you can purchase the Gravity uh, pattern from Threaded Lines. They uh, sent me all of the, they sent me the rulers, they sent me the pattern, and they did send me the kit. If you want to do the kit out of the Stonehenge for 2025, you can sign up there. Uh, Angela asks, Ian, been wondering, are you from Texas? Yes, I am here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. <laughs> Luane says, let's hope, let's hope his new place is Ian proof before he moves in. Yeah, that would probably be. Yeah. All right, guys. I think that's going to do it for today. We've been live for an hour and 46 minutes. So I think we are going to end it here. I'm going to go run to, well, I'm going to go drive to Home Depot and grab a couple of boxes and stuff and uh, continue to work on some, some things. Um, Maybe do some packing. I'm looking around my apartment and it is a mess. It is a mess right now. I have a whole pile of stuff off camera that I need to sell. I have like pots and pans that I've never used. Um, I have a whole stack of coffee mugs that I need to get. I have accidentally started a collection of, of, of coffee mugs. I don't know when this happened, but it did. Uh, and I have a whole bunch of coffee mugs that I need to get rid of now, so. Oh, so much, so much to do, so little time. Ooh, Becca is saying impromptu live on my channel. Hey, does anybody want to do an impromptu live over on Becca's channel? Let me know in the chat if y'all want to hang out with Becca, especially since um, we don't have a live from, uh, we don't have a live with uh, Teresa today. Linda says, when is the move? It'll be sometime in September, October. Deborah says, time here with you off Kilter Crafter is never long enough. <laughs> Love you lots. That's very sweet of you. Let me see. Becca, everyone is saying yes. So are you going to go live? I can dump everybody over there. Shelly says, I'm home and up for live shows. So it sounds like Becca's going to go live. I don't know if she's going to go live before. Okay. All right. So she's going to go live in 10 minutes. That's 4 p.m. Eastern time. So she's going to go live and you can check her out over there. I am going to end my live stream now. So that way you can get prepped for that. Head over to so Becca's channel and she will do a live here at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Paste you cream. Pastry Queen Farm Adventures. Where are you moving? Somewhere fun, I hope. Well, that is for y'all to take a guess. So, all right. <laughs> I'm dumping y'all now. Linda, I'm dumping you. No, uh, I hope everybody has a great day. Thank you guys for joining me today. I love each and every one of you. I love your support. I love just everything. I just love y'all. Let's just put it that way. I just love y'all. Hope y'all have a great day. And remember, guys, normal is just a setting on the dryer. I'll see you next Sunday. I always, where's the button? There. <laughs>